Hey, you guys, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. Uh, guys, today I'm going to be working on sublimation. I'm going to be uh, sublimating some tumblers. Um, this time, I'm going to be doing a new um, trend that is going on. It's called 3D Puff, and it's a new trend, and I want to try it. Um, I did a couple of weeks ago a video on 3D effect tumbler wrap, which came out beautifully. So this time, I'm going to try this. So guys, I can't wait to do it. Um, if you're new to the channel and you uh, like this kind of content, Consider subscribing to my channel, The Crafty Puerto Rican, and also don't forget to click the notification bell, and that way you get notified of all my future videos. Guys, I can't wait to start, so let's get started. So, okay, guys, I am in Silo Studios, and um, I'm going to show you the designs that I'm going to be working with with my tumblers. Um, these are going to be the 3D puff or inflated design. I prefer to call it 3D puff um, tumbler wraps. Um, last couple of weeks or last week, I think I made a video of the 3D, which is an amazing also effect for tumblers, but this one is a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go to my, um, files and open one of them, um, right here. This is one of them that I'm going to be working with. I'm going to get, okay. You open this the same way that you open your designs, um, in Cricut design space. Um, so, you know, no difference if you have a Cricut, um, and a Cricut design space, you can go ahead and download them and print, print your PNG files from Cricut also. I use both. I like to do my designs in Silo Studios, even though I do not own a Cameo cutter, but I like to work on my designs in Silo Studios. That's the only thing that I use it for, um, including my rhinestones design. Okay. So this is the one that I'm going to be use one of them. It's gonna come very big, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, place the correct sizing. So for my PYD brand tumblers, uh, my width is always 9.45, so it's 9.45, and the height is always 8.2. That is specific for that brand. Like I explained before, each brand has a different um, dimensions or sizing. Okay, so let me go enter. And of course, it disappeared. <laughs> let me go get it. And this is one of them. Of course, I chose this one because I'm a nurse and I like the colors. They are so cute. Even though I don't think I've seen nurses wearing this color on the floor, but yeah, it's beautiful. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and since I'll show you how is it that I get it from my files, in case you didn't know, I'm going to go ahead and go to my library, which I have a lot of designs saved in here. And I'm going to pick the one that I, the other one that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to merge the design. This is the other one. Okay. Even though this, uh, this one came bigger. Uh, oh, because I put the wrong number, that's why. So it's 9.45. And the height is 8.2. I think I get it right now. Yeah, so now that the same sizing. So yeah, so they look so cute. I mean, I really like them. Um, this two, um, I decided to choose this Rubik's Cube design because I know a kid that goes to competitions. And when I saw this design, I thought of this kid. So I'm going to um, gift it to him when I'm done. And I cannot wait to see how they look. I've never done it before. So I wanted to share it with you. And guys, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the table, get ready to start um, printing the um, designs. And then we're going to start with the whole process. Okay. So guys, I will see you in a little bit. So guys, we're here on the table with everything that I usually use for my tumblers. Um, I have gone through this in other videos. I think I released a video a couple of weeks ago when I was in, um, printing um, the 3D effect tumblers, like I mentioned before. I'm going to be doing this. Um, I already print all the things out. Um, this one I already trimmed. I have this one from Barbie. I'm not sure if I'm gonna um, try it. I have a person that I can um, give this to, but I wanted to see how it looks. I don't know, I will decide later. I will let you know. 
But anyway, this is the way it comes out of the printer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna trim this. And you know what I forgot? I forgot to get the butcher paper. So don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get my butcher paper. I am back with my butcher paper right here. Scissors that I'm gonna need to trim them later on. So I think I have everything I need. Um, for those who are new, butcher paper, um, heat resistant tape. I use this scraper for the process. You'll see me using it. It's like a cricket scrape or yeah, that's how they call it, cricket scraper. And my tumblers, 20 ounce tumbler. And my sticky roller because I need to clean the tumblers. All right. So I'm gonna be trimming this. Um, from time to time, you're gonna be um, listening to some background noises, especially like a zooming sound. Um, that is the um, air conditioning um, system in my home. I'm on the lower level, um, especially in the area that I'm sitting down is closer to the air conditioning um, unit, okay? It's cool down here all the time. I don't really need it, but it's because I'm down in the first level. Um, on the second level of the home, at the third level, um, you know, it, it's needed. It's been very hot here in my area. I live in the East Coast in Maryland. So, I need to trim it as best as I can because I don't want any white color paper, paper on the tumbler because yeah it's not a good look so i'm trimming it as close as i can without making it smaller because then you know it won't fit okay okay i think this is oily i'm gonna go ahead and throw this away I am working on embroidery. Um, also, you see my machine is a little on because I was starting a project back there. Um, so yeah, that's why my machine is on. Um, when I'm done with this, I need to continue with what I'm doing over there. So, okay, so let's start with cleaning the tumbler. All right. Like I mentioned before my other videos, you can, of course, take off the top. You don't wanna put this on the under press it's plastic okay um you can also use alcohol to clean it this is okay with me it works fine make sure that all the little spots are off like this one is that was a big spot you might not see it because you don't see dust but you know the dust the dust do mess up the the outcome okay so you have to make sure that it's clean and that you have have no oils or hand lotion or anything like that okay all right it was the same thing with this one i hope i am i am in viewing the camera i haven't checked the camera so i have no clue okay so this is that let's start with the rubik and then it goes, this is the top, I think. Yeah, the blue is the top. Oh, to... There is something on the paper. I'm gonna have to print this again because it's got messed up. I don't know how. So I'm gonna start with this one and I'm gonna print this one, all right? I don't know how that happened because I haven't taken this anywhere. But any little tiny thing, it will mess up. So I'm not going to take that risk. So it's going to go like that and I'm going to reprint it. All right? So we're going to do this. This cradle is optional, you don't need to hide it. Um, but it makes my life a little bit easier when it comes to wrapping, okay? That's why I use it. Okay. 
just looking for. So I make sure that everything is lined up. I push all the way from the outside in. Okay. Now that I have it here, I don't need this cradle anymore. I use my scraper to make sure that everything is down. It's a very tiny overlapping on this one. Usually I like it to be very, 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 very close but not a lot of overlapping, but these are very tiny. So, you know, you don't want a big overlapping because this um, is gonna create um, some ghosting on this um, other part because of the ink. So try to make it barely there. Like I said, for the PYD um, is 8.2 in height and 9.45 or 40 for um, the width, and it works fine with me. For the PYD, I have other brands, like I mentioned before, um, that requires a little larger in height, even though they're 20 ounces. So. I think the bottom is fine. I'm gonna do the middle. I'm gonna have to trim around on the top. There's a little bit left over on this one. Even though I did 8.2, I don't know why. It's not that much, but I don't like to have too many leftovers. I don't do this. Because I notice that when I do this, what happens is that um, it creates like a wrinkle effect around and I don't like it. So I'm going to put my tape in the middle like I always do. So when I'm done with this one, there's a little wrinkle in there that I don't like, but it's a little bit too late now to fix it. Hopefully it's not gonna affect the outcome of the bottom of the umbrella. Let's see. That's why I'm placing an additional piece of tape, the heat resistant tape, because I wanna make sure that it's gonna stay flat. That's what I'm doing right now. Get rid of a little wrinkle in here at the end. You see, the tape is not on the paper, hopefully. You know that every little wrinkle does affect the outcome, also, because it makes it look like, like it's wrinkled. I just want to make sure that it's the tape and it's not the paper. You don't want wrinkles on the paper. I usually don't like placing, like I said, tape like this in the bottom because sometimes it makes me like a wrinkle or mess up on the bottom. Um, but in this one, I, I did it because there was an area that was kind of like wavy 
and I needed it for that. So I went ahead and I did the whole thing. Let's see. Hopefully it's not gonna mess up the bottom of the tumbler. Okay. So now I'm gonna do the top. And like I mentioned before, I'm gonna go ahead and um, trim it a little bit around. Just a tiny bit, you see? It's not that much. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing. For those who follow my channel, you know, I've done this before many times. You guys are experts already, people. <laughs> you guys are experts. For those who are new, that's why I go through the whole thing. Because I need to explain it, the basic part of it, for those who are new to my channel. And by the way, if you're new to my channel, um, and you like this context, um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, The Crafty for a Weekend, okay? Don't forget to click the notification bell and you will be notified of all my future videos. I do a lot of crafting here, not only um, sublimation, I work with embroidery also. And um, yeah, and rhinestones. So I work with rhinestones. I plan to place them on my Etsy shop. Um, I reopened my Etsy shop. I redid the whole Etsy shop. I limited a lot of stuff that I'm not working on anymore. So I'm gonna be including my, um, rhinestones some of my rhinestones shirts already made and i might open another sd shop just for digital files okay so that that's an idea that i have i'm working on a lot of new files rhinestones files so and templates so yeah all right so this is done so guys i'm gonna go ahead and reprint the other one and um then i'm gonna wrap it and then i'm gonna bring you here um around the thunder press okay this is the pusher paper i almost forgot okay. so for this one you don't need that much tape one or two pieces are enough So guys, see you in a little bit. I'll be back with the finished second tumbler. All right. So guys, let's get ready to do these tumblers. I decided to add the Barbie tumbler because I called my daughter, you know, and I asked her if my granddaughter would be interested because, you know, some girls don't like the Barbie thing. But, you know, she's a teenager and she said, yeah, she can't wait to see the movie with a group of friends. So I said, so let me just do it and give it to her, just send it to her, and so yeah, so I'm gonna be doing the Barbie one. So let's start with this one first. You've seen me done this before. For those who are new, um, the temperature is 360 degrees Fahrenheit, and I run it for 120 seconds, and I turn it four times around. So that's 30 seconds each turn, all right? So let's get started with the first one. I don't know you guys, but I've never been a Barbie fan, even when I was a child. I guess it was because of my generation. Um, there were not many options of Barbies. Um, they used to give it to me for Christmas, my um, family members, and I used to pass it on to somebody else. I was just more like an out, outdoor person, you know, biking, roller skating with the guys. So I never was, was into those of Barbies. So uh, my, and my daughters either. I was very surprised that they were never interested in that. Even though they have a couple of dolls that they have been saving, but they were not much into it. Um, but I know that a lot of little girls are, so yeah. Um, and I think this is more like a movie for more older girls. I don't know. I've seen the shorts, so um, I don't know. But it's, it's all over the place. I mean, there are commercials and things on the store about Barbie. So it's a whole revamp. I mean, like I'm, I'm, I'm from another generation and that's how long this Barbie doll have lasted. So yeah, I'm very surprised. So 
So we are going into the second turn on this one. So what I'm going to plan to do is that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this one like in a slow pace and then I'm going to run the other two and at the end when they are cool then we're going to open them okay and see the, the result of them all right and of course you know that I'm using my gloves because this gets very hot and the smells I never I never like the smell of it it's terrible <laughs> so yeah Okay, so we're almost done. Okay, so that was that was one, two. I'm gonna let this one cool and I'm gonna go the next one and this one I'm gonna run it fast and um, fast forward okay at a fast pace This one is done. Let's go to the next one. Okay guys, so this is the last one. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off. Move this a little bit this way, and move this a little bit this way. I'm gonna take off my gloves. I need to um, look for a uh, weeding tool to help me open it. So I'll be back, people. Okay, so I'm back. Um, let me see how handle this with my hands. Let me see if you guys have a good view of what I'm doing. Okay guys, so this is, the first one is pretty cool, so I don't need my gloves. So I'm gonna take the butcher paper off. the moment of the big reveal of the first one people I want to make sure that you guys are in view I don't want to mess up this yeah you should be able to see it yeah okay so guys this is the first one this is the one that is the Rubik's Cube wow this is so cool Look at these people. This is the seam right here. The bottom here is a little bit, uh, it's okay. Not like I like it, but it's not bad at all. This is so nice. And look at these dimensions. It is so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so let's go to the second one. This one's cool enough. Okay, 
Wow, look at this. This is the nursing one. Look at people. This way, yeah, this way. Look at how pretty. This is very nice. This is the sim. Very, very nice. And let's do the last one. This should be the bar one. The last addition. And this is very nice. This is Starbucks. This is the Barbie face. Very nice. And the colors are amazing. Look at this right here. Drink, milk, zero shops, Starbucks. Very nice, huh? Okay, guys, so let me pick all this mess up, okay? And then we're gonna continue, all right? See you in a little bit. Well, guys, look at these tumblers. I love them. I love the way they came out. Um, definitely different from the one that is a 3D, which are beautiful also that I did a couple of weeks ago. I love the way they came out. I love the look that is like a puffy look. Um, it's like inflated. I like it. I like this design. It's an excellent idea to give it a new look to the tumblers. So thank you for spending this time with me. Um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. And guys, don't forget to click the thumb up on your way out. I will see you soon with some new content. Bye-bye. Hasta luego.